You know, we are not content with just sitting where we are. We're always looking for a better way to do something, a better way to take care of patients, a better way to educate students, um, a better way to use technology. And in medical school, you have to be able to figure out how you're going to continuously push yourself to that next level. Really, for the first couple of years, you're primarily studying. There's enough information that you could study forever. You kind of feel like you're drinking from the fire hose. So that's when I started looking for ways to take all of the lectures and have it portable and accessible wherever I was. And that's when I started to look at the iPod Touch. And so now, every student at the Ohio State College of Medicine will get an iPod Touch or an iPhone when they enter medical school. I really resonated with this medical student, really busy with his own studies, who sort of said, look, you could use this for so much more. The graphics, the video, the enhanced web browser, the access to so many applications. And he could envision a different world, something that was really co-curricular, something that we were able to use to help the students learn, and also importantly to teach them, I think, how to be better doctors long term. And that's what I thought was really exciting. They can now, on their own time, listen to the podcast and watch the actual um, slide presentation of that lecture. And not only that, they can do it wherever they are. They can do it on the run. They can do it at a local coffee shop. The students absolutely loved it. They love the freedom it gives them. They love the fact that they can replay it over and over again until they get the high yield facts. I would listen to the lectures and then study my material and then listen again. And after doing that, all of the little nuances that I didn't know that I should appreciate then became important. X-ray. So systematically, how do you read that? And what it has allowed us to do as educators is create sessions that are much more interactive, much more lively, much more engaged. Those sessions are really developed now to facilitate communication. ACS is difficult, right? So ACS, what do we do? EKG? You know, watching the students in this sort of format, watching them engaged and taking notes on their iPod touches, being able to pull up the lectures on their iPod touches while I'm actually giving them a talk on that topic, it creates curiosity. And students who are curious end up being better students. If you head over to the medical school, you have a lot of medical students who are tremendously stressed out and feel very busy. Then you enter your residency and you realize that you had a life of luxury at that point. The largest occupier of your time, number one, is definitely patient care, clinical experience. You know, you're rounding, you're, you're spending your day at the hospital. And having the ability to sit next to somebody in their hospital bed and show them a ready-made picture that explains what's going on to them really helps us ensure that our patients understand and can ask the right questions. The iPhone is something that I use every single day interacting with medical students. It sort of serves as a springboard to go into some good teaching. You have an extra moment in a hallway and you can pull out an iPhone and start an entire conversation about a clinical scenario that you're setting up. It allows me to dive deeper into teaching than I could ever do off the top of my head and that you could ever previously do just standing in a hall. With the storage and the capabilities of the iPod Touch, I can carry the whole med school curriculum in my pocket at any given time. You have so much information at your fingertips that you never could have before. So if I need to look up a medication, if I need to get directions to the clinic I'm going to that afternoon, if I need to take a photo, I can take a photo. If I need to email something, it's all sitting there in my pocket. To be able to do all of that together and not have anyone have to do any work on their own part other than hitting a few buttons, um, I don't think we could do it any other way. Our patients trust us to be great doctors for them and we work hard to earn that trust. The iPod Touch is a tremendous innovation that really promises to help us change the way we educate doctors.